Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced React WooCommerce Theme Development with WooCommerce REST API. In the previous video, we learned about how to go ahead and use the next SEO package to generate the SEO meta tags in your project. As you can see, all of these meta tags are available, description, URL, title, all of that for SEO. And in this video, we're going to go ahead and add this schema, okay? So in order for us to do that, We'll go to our layout because uh, this schema is going to be available on all of the pages and we know that our layout component is available everywhere it's reused everywhere so we'll first use the head component by next.js so you can see it says import head from next head okay so it's done that on the top over here uh, what this does is basically whatever you put in over here is going to be automatically added to our head element over here inside of this okay so before we go ahead and add that yoast seo schema inside of head we basically have to replace all of this backend url so can you see there's a backend url my demo query we, we don't really want that on the front end right we, the schema has to be the front end url not the back end url of course um some of the urls like the images url needs to be from back end but rest of them should be from the front end so what we want to do is we want to create a custom function which is going to replace all of the backend root URL with the frontend root URL. So let's do that. So I'm going to go inside of the utils directory. So you have a utils directory here and then we have miscellaneous. So we'll go inside that and I'm just going to paste a function and I'll explain to you what it does. There we go. And before we explain that, let me fix this one because this is deprecated. So we'll say type of window is not equal to undefined then go ahead and use the dom, dom purify sanitize so that when it's run uh, at the server side level then uh, we shouldn't be running this there okay this should only be run where window is available on the front end not in the back end okay so replace back end url with front end url it'll take the data if it's it'll check if it's the type of string and it's available then we're going to use the JavaScript method called replace all. Uh, we'll use the backend URL. So we know that inside of the constant next public WordPress site URL, we have the WordPress site URL. And over here, inside of this constant, we have the front end site URL, which is defined inside of your environment variable file. Inside of the environment variable file, we go ahead and replace that by the backend URL with the front end URL, all the instances. What this is going to do is going to replace all of the mydemocoditech.com with the localhost 3000 or whatever your frontend URL is uh, stored inside of this constant. Once that is done, we want to go ahead and replace back the backend URL for all of the uploads because there will be some of the uploads URLs. If you take a look at the image, image we don't want to. So you look at the image which is there in the uploads build uh, folder. Now, this WP content uploads folder is not available on the front end. So we don't want to replace this. So we'll replace those back. So we'll say anytime you find the front end URL with this, because this would have already replaced all of the back end URL with the front end, replace them back with the back end. Okay. So first you replace all back end URL with the front end. And then you go ahead and filter out that find all the front end URL which have this suffix WP content uploads put them back with the backend URL because you don't want the images URL to be converted with the frontend URL, okay? So that's what it does. That's what happens here. So then we'll go back to the layout and over here, we're gonna say Yoast schema equals SEO.schema. First, let me just pull this up, replace backend URL with frontend URL, okay? So pull that up. So SEO.schema because remember that um, if you take a look over here, um, this is available inside schema, right? So when we are passing the SEO, w product head JSON, which is this object, okay? This becomes SEO. So, so this guy right here becomes the SEO and that gets passed to your layout from here. And then inside of that, we have schema available, this one, right? So we're accessing that. You're saying if it's available, then replace the backend URL with the frontend URL by stringifying that because this is not a string, right? This is not a string. So we have to stringify that. 
So become, make, make it a string and then replace everything and then bring it back, okay? So as a Yoast schema. Once that is done, I'm going to say, if your Yoast schema is available, then put a script inside of the head, which will say application LD plus JSON, and then class name will be this, key will be this, danger is set in an HTML. Uh, we have to sanitize also, so let's just pull the sanitize. Let's pull that on the top, sanitize. We already have a sanitize function, which we uh, fixed just a while back, this one. Okay, so sanitize the markup or text when using inside of dangerously set in your HTML. So we sanitize that and then we pass the your schema. So what this is gonna do is gonna render the um, JSON format, uh, the um, your schema in JSON format inside of the script. So, and um, if your schema is available, great. Uh, if it isn't available, then we want to also render the normal title. Let's say somebody has not activated the um, SEO plugin. So in that case, it's not gonna generate the title by default. So we want to go ahead and uh, gen generate the title ourselves. So that's why I put that here because site title is available inside of header. And if uh, that is available, we grab that, otherwise we hard code this value, but we have to make sure the title tag is available in our project. So we just do that. Of course, your schema will be available in case if you have the schema available. And um, if schema is available, that means the Yoast plugin is active. Okay, so let's take a look. Now, if you go back on the front end, and if you go to the elements, um, you would notice that if you scroll down, there's your tag. Inside of this application JSON, we have all of this schema, okay? And notice that, okay, so now it has gone ahead and replaced all the backend URLs. So if you take a look, uh, this ID localhost, let me show you. This was my demo, coditech.com slash product slash gift collection. This has been replaced with localhost 3000 product slash gift collection. So these all have been replaced, but the image URL, if you take a look at the one of the image URLs, which had the, like this one, image URLs, you can see that it still has the backend URL inside of it. mydemo.coditech.com slash WP content, right? Because we, we did replace that back. Okay, so that's what we wanted. And uh, so we have the application LD JSON that's being rendered here. And one more update we're going to make. Since we already have the head here, might as well remove the head from our header. So notice that inside of the header, we already put the head section here. So let it be at one place. So I'm going to remove that and remove that and put that, put that over here. Okay. So that's link, shortcut icon. In case if the header has the favicon, we use that, otherwise we use this, okay? So let's just keep head at one place rather than keeping it at two pl different places. All right, brilliant. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe my channel if you aren't already. And uh, please uh, do start up a repository to support my work. Thanks to all the 186 people who already starred my repository. And do follow me on GitHub and Twitter. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.